there, second grade mathematicians. It is time for us to work together again. Today, we will be working on lesson one for the week of June 8th through the 12th. Our objective for today says that we will use the three read strategy to understand the problem, make a plan, and solve problems about measurement using addition and subtraction. The three read strategy involves five steps to help you make sense of and solve problems. Step one is to read to make sense. Step two is read for details. Step three is read to represent. Step four is to solve the problem. Step five, is check your work. This organizer can be used to help you organize your thinking as you work through these five steps to solve story problems. Today, we are going to use the three reads strategy to help us solve a story problem. Step one in the three reads process is read to make sense. This first time that we are reading the story problem, our goal is to find out what the story is about. As we read this time, we need to be thinking about and visualizing what is happening in the story. We should be asking ourselves, what action is taking place in this story? We should think about how we can describe or retell this story in our own words. Finally, we should be thinking about things that we wonder. Maybe there are some questions we have about the story. Let's practice this first step of the three reads process. This story starts with a table of information. Take a moment to review the information in the table. What do you notice? What do you wonder? Share your ideas with someone at home or write them down. So here's the problem. The monkey walked heel to toe to a nearby tree. He took some steps. Then he walked some more steps to get a banana. Now it's time to think about what is happening in this problem. What action is taking place? Well, there is a monkey walking heel to toe. I wonder what that means. Heel to toe means that the monkey is walking with one foot right in front of the other so that its heels and toes are touching as it walks. I also noticed that we don't know how many steps the monkey took, but we know that he's walking to the tree, then walking some more to get a banana. I wonder if the information in the table will help us as we work through this problem. We can also visualize this problem to help us make sense of the story. We can record our thinking on the graphic organizer by drawing a picture. We know there is a monkey. He is walking some steps to get to the tree. Then he is walking some more steps to get to a banana. In the second step of the three read strategy, we are going to read the story problem again, but this time we are going to read for details. The monkey walked heel to toe to a nearby tree. He took five steps, then he walked four steps to get a banana. What is the total distance in inches that the monkey walked? This is when we will begin to focus in on the numbers in the problem and think about what those numbers represent. We know the monkey walked five steps, then walked four more steps. We will also begin to think about what mathematical concepts we could use to help us solve the problem. We can think about the problem structure or the type of problem we will need to solve. Are the numbers going to be combined or subtracted? Will we need to solve more than one step or equation to solve this problem? What operations could we use, addition or subtraction? We could also look at any vocabulary in the problem and at the table of information. We will probably need to use the information from the table about the footprint size of the monkey. Since this problem wants us to find the total distance in inches that the monkey walked, 
the information in the table will be helpful. We can also use annotations like a star or a question mark to indicate parts of the problem that we understand or parts that we still need to know more about. I will put two stars next to the parts of the problem that told us how many steps the monkey walked because I understand that he walked two different distances. I'm going to put a question mark next to the word inches because I'm still not sure of how I will figure out the total number of inches the monkey walked. On my organizer for step two, I can show that I understand that the monkey walked five steps to get to the tree. Then he walked four more steps to get to the banana. Altogether, the monkey walked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps. And each of the monkey's footsteps is equal to six inches. During our third read of this problem, we are going to read to represent. We will represent the information in the problem with a mathematical drawing. We will be thinking about strategies we have used this year to help us solve problems like this one. We can think about place value models, number lines, or equations that will help us represent the story problem and find an answer to the question. What operations can we use that will help us solve this type of problem? What type of problem are we solving? As we represent the problem, we will remember to label our drawings so that someone else will be able to understand our thinking. As I read the problem this time, be thinking about how you will represent it mathematically. The monkey walked heel to toe to a nearby tree. He took five steps. Then he walked four steps to get a banana. What is the total distance in inches that the monkey walked? We will use the details we underlined and circled in step two to help us represent this problem. On the organizer for step three, I can show how to represent this problem using a mathematical drawing. We know that each monkey footprint is six inches long. The monkey walked five steps to the tree, then walked four more steps to get to the banana. Five steps plus four steps equals nine steps total. I think I could use a number line to show how I could use repeated addition to add the distance of each step. Since the monkey took nine steps and each step was six inches long, I can count on by sixes. I can use the number line to help me keep track as I skip count. I will start at zero on the number line. After one step, the monkey will have walked six inches. I can continue to use the number line to count by six nine times. Two steps, 12 inches. Three steps, 18 inches. Four steps, 24 inches. Five steps, 30 inches. Six steps, 36 inches. Seven steps, 42 inches. Eight steps, 48 inches, 9 steps, 54 inches. Now it is time for us to solve the problem. As we solve, it is important to be accurate and precise. We also need to make sure that we follow the directions in the problem and complete all parts of the problem. We will use equations or expressions as we explain and justify our thinking. We also want to be sure that we use correct math vocabulary, symbols, and numbers as we solve the problem. On our organizer, we can record how we will solve this problem. We can use the number line we drew for step three as we were representing the problem to help us write an equation to show how we can solve this problem. We can use a repeated addition equation to solve this problem. Since the monkey took nine steps and each step was six inches long, we can add six nine times.
6 plus 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 6 equals 54. We can then use our doubles facts to help us solve this problem more efficiently. 6 plus 6 is 12. 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 Then we can keep using doubles facts to help us. 12 plus 12 is 24. 12 plus 12 is 24. Finally, we can add together 24 plus 24 plus 6. I know that 24 plus 6 equals 30, and 30 plus 24 equals 54. So the monkey walked a total of 54 inches. Now it is time to check your work. You should reread the problem one last time to make sure that you used all the information in the problem. You should always ask yourself, does my answer make sense? Then make sure that you answered all parts of the question. We can use another strategy to check our work. We used a number line and a repeated addition equation to solve the problem and found that the monkey walked a total of 54 inches. I'm going to use a counting on strategy and a 120 chart to check my work. I'm going to count in groups of six. I need to make sure I count nine groups of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. One group of six, two groups of six, three groups of six, four groups of six, five groups of six, six groups of six, seven groups of six, eight groups of six, nine groups of six is 54. So the monkey walked 54 inches. Now it's your turn to try using the three read strategy as you solve the problems on page one of the Zoo Footprints task. You should use the three reads organizer to help you work through the strategy and record your thinking. Have fun solving problems today. Keep up the great work, second graders. Well, boys and girls, that's it from us for this week. And on behalf of your friends here at BCPS Math, we want you to know that you are so loved, that you are so important, and that you hold the future in your hands. So stay safe, be kind, and do the math.